Roll Tide and welcome back to Crimson Drive, driven by NASCAR. I'm Roger Hoover. Now, please be joined by the head coach of the Alabama soccer team, Wes Hart. And coach, it's now our yearly tradition, meeting out here early weeks of August, seeing your team practice, just how much uh, fun, how much excitement do you have for this upcoming year? Yeah, it's awesome. You know, waited wait a long time. You know, summer was a <laughs> long wait to, to get them out here. But uh, once we did, you know, we realized we got uh, we got a special group here for sure. And what's the excitement level for this group in particular? Because there are so many new faces that have come in, but it still seems like the personality of what Alabama has been the last few years is here. Yeah, definitely. I think we got a good blend. You know, a lot of a lot of players still returning. Um, you know, from uh, from a very good team last year, and then we uh, we added a couple transfers and uh, quite a few new freshmen that I think are gonna gonna add quite a bit to the team. So uh, I think we got a, a great blend of you know old and young as well as uh, um, you know returners and and, and veterans. We had an interview a few weeks ago with Sydney Yopich talking about the captain's practices, all the work they've done. Uh, who have been some of the key leaders organizing this team throughout the offseason? Who's uh, providing leadership early on? Yeah, I think it's great. We've got, uh, you know, eight seniors, you know, three or four of them are actually maybe even five of them, fifth year grad seniors. So we've got uh, we definitely have some age and, and experience in the group. And you know, they certainly add a, a lot of leadership. And then you've got some very, very good young talent, um, you know, some uh, some young freshmen that have come in and that, uh, you know, have played with and, and on, you know, some some very good teams. Um, um, and so, you know, I think you got a, a good blend, like I said, and, and a lot of uh, a lot of big personalities, a, a lot of good soccer players, uh, a lot of confident players, and, and I think we're getting leadership from from a lot of different people. And then going to some of the younger players, the freshmen that come in, was this a class that was really a result of the SEC Championship College Cup season? Yeah, definitely, right? This is kind of a, you know, this 2024 class was a byproduct of the 2022 season. And, uh, you know, kind of the success we had, we were able to, to parlay that into an incredible recruiting class, probably one of the best recruiting classes we've had. And so, um, you know, have got eight players and, you know, um, <laughs> hard to single out just one because every one of them brings something different. And uh, I, mean, I think you could see uh, any one of the eight, you know, be impact players for us this year, um, whether they're starting, whether they're coming off the bench. Uh, I think all eight have the potential to, to impact. Let's go through the team a little bit. Uh, starting up top, uh, we just talked to Gianna Paul. Looks like she's ready to go once again to find the back of the net. Yeah, Gianna, we uh, we did not have her all spring. She was uh, she was injured. She was nursing a, a quad injury from uh, from the fall, and so you know, I forgot how fast and <laughs> athletic and, and just dangerous she was. And so you know, the first day of training, you know, she she looked she looked awesome. You know, she looked just you know she looked like she was back to herself, and uh, you know, just kind of like I said, kind of kind of forgot about her and the in the spring and what she brings, and and she she brings a whole new dimension to to the group, and so. So, um, you know, Gianna's back, um, you know, and, and man, we have probably seven or eight attacking players that could, you know, each of them are capable of, uh, of scoring a lot of goals this year. So Leah Cundy, um, you know, looks uh, looks good. She looks strong and, and powerful and fast. And I think she'll do a great job, you know, uh, beating players down the, the wing and getting serves in the box. Um, you have uh, Maddie Podelsky, uh, an incoming freshman that's uh, a member of the U-17 uh, national team and will likely be going to the, the World Cup this uh, this fall. So we'll miss her for a few games. But, uh, you know, on, uh, on the left side, you know she's she's so dynamic one v one getting out players um, but you got Nedia Sawan who's a transfer from Portland that uh, um, has a history of, of scoring a lot of goals with Portland I think she's going to come in uh, you know Kate Henderson a returning fifth year senior um, you know and, and you know I could could keep keep naming them it's uh, it's pretty exciting how about in the midfield yeah midfield. Um, you know, probably uh, probably going to be kind of our, our youngest, you know, kind of position group. Uh, you know, Le Lexi Meyer and Kylie Kukin, um, you know, attacking midfielders, Cami Silva, Nadia uh, Ramadan. You know, those are both sophomores, but but again, on the on the younger side. Uh, and then you got Melina Rabimbis, a sophomore as well. She's a transfer from North Carolina. Uh, she was a member of, uh, of a U-17 World Cup team a, a couple years ago. Um, you know, she's uh, coming off an injury, but as soon as she gets healthy, I think she's going to be, uh, um, you know, a, a huge weapon for us. I think she'll be able to, to give service to the to the front line and and help them score goals but you know really really happy with that position group as well then the back line we just talked to Jessica Skorka she's one of the returning faces some new faces there but still plenty of talent yeah, absolutely. You know, still got uh, Brooke and, and Jess from the 22 uh, SEC championship season. So they're, uh, they're two starters that have been in that back line that uh, they're comfortable there. Um, you know, have uh, Sydney Yopic, who's kind of been a utility player for us. Um, you know, and I don't say that in a bad way at all. I mean, she's someone that you could literally plug at four or five different positions. And I think she could start for us in, in four or five different positions. But uh, Sydney gives us the uh, ability to um, you know, play center back, uh, outside back, or holding midfield, and and I think, like I said, I think she could be an impact at any one of those positions. Um, and then, uh, you know, the other side, 
you know, uh, Jess being on the right and on the left side, you know, trying a, a couple different people there, but we've been happy what we've seen. Uh, Atala Jamelli, who's a, you know, very dynamic attacking player. We're kind of messing around with her a little bit in the back and seeing what she can do. Uh, Breezy Brewer, uh, an, an incoming freshman, uh, is athletic and tough, and she can bomb forward and get forward just like Jess does on the right. She can do that same thing on the left. And so I think, um, you know, more so than, than any team we've had at Alabama, I think we, uh, We've got uh, we've got depth in uh, in every position, and um, you know pretty exciting to see. And, and as you know, in the college game, you know it's only a matter of time before you know fatigue sets in, or injuries set in, or players getting called in for national team. And so that depth is important. You know, playing you know Friday Sundays or uh, Thursday Sundays, and you know you you need that. And so um, that's what I'm probably most excited about this group is you you have depth in every position. And then how about goalkeeper? Yeah, goalkeeper. Um, you know, Corley and Ellie, um, you know, uh, both played with us last year. Corley was, uh, you know, kind of rotated, uh, um, you know, starting with, with Dylan, who graduated. But uh, by the end of the season, Corley had kind of won out there. And so uh, Corley is back and, uh, you know, one one year older and, and you know, one, one, one year of experience under her belt. So I'm um, excited about Corley. Uh, Ellie, um, you know, trained with us all last year. And, and I don't believe she got into a game, but uh, but she does an awesome job at practice. I think she's going to do a great job of, of pushing Corley and, uh, and being ready if she's called upon. And then we have a freshman named Maddie Mungia who's coming off an injury. But uh, Maddie, similar to Corley, um, you know, Corley's on the U-20 Canadian national team. Maddie's on the U-20 Mexican national team. So she's got experience at the international level. Um, you know, and she's uh, got uh, incredible athlete, you know, incredible athleticism. She uh, covers a lot of ground. She's quick. She can jump. Uh, everything you, you want in a goalkeeper, good feet, um, you know, good organizer, all, all the things. So I think once she's healthy, I, I think you got three good goalkeepers that can all, you know, push each other. And, uh, um, you know, and like I said, with every other position, we got depth in the goalkeeping position as well. A moment ago, you mentioned uh, Breezy Brewer. We know her sister Callie's also yeah. on the team. What's it like coaching sisters here at all? Yeah, interesting. It's been a while since uh, since I've had that. I think uh, the Mouton sisters, you know, seven, eight years ago were, were the last time I had sisters. But uh, but no, it's uh, it's good. And uh, you can see, uh, you know, some competitive. Obviously, they, uh, uh, you know, they're, they're super close. But at the same time, uh, you see them going into tackles with each other. And they don't, uh, they don't hold back. <laughs> Well, Coach Saban uh, retired, of course, in January. Now you are one of the more veteran coaches on campus, and we saw the video from Alabama soccer earlier this week. Are you taking his mantle now as the coach that's on the lake and can get uh, players to flip off the inner tube? <laughs> yeah, right. So uh, I don't know if I want to be mentioned in the same uh, same breath as uh, as Coach Saban, but uh, but yeah, sure, I'll t I'll take that role if <laughs> if you know. So, but no, we uh, we we like to. It's been a yearly tradition for us. Um, you know, we've uh, we've always enjoyed uh, you know bringing the team out on the lake, and uh, you know. It's good that a uh, good way to to, to cut uh, to cut loose and you know get off the soccer field and spend some time away off the soccer field and um, you know we uh, we end up having uh, you know we got a, a player on the team that's got a couple boats and I've got a boat and jet skis and you know so we had we had a fun time out there that's really good to see uh, as we start to wrap things up uh, we're getting closer to the season starting exhibition this week against LSU uh, what do you like about the schedule specifically non-conference play how it gets you ready for the SEC yeah, think, uh, right away um, you know right off the bat playing an opponent like LSU I mean last year it was Tennessee this year it's LSU and I think what it does is um, you know it uh, it exposes some things and uh, you know we don't want to play a preseason game where we win seven eight zero and and now we've got this false sense of security or something like that you know and so there's something to be said about gaining confidence but at the same time you need to you need to figure out where you need to grow and so i think uh, lsu is going to be able to to push us and, and test us and expose us in some areas that uh, that'll let us know what we need to work on over the next few weeks but i think it's a, a good balance um you know we always try to to sprinkle in a couple really tough tough games early on and so uh, opening at tcu i mean they're they've been a, a you know, one of the premier programs in the country the last last few years. Um, you know, awesome, awesome opponent. Um, and then uh, UNT. You know, they're uh, they're always a strong opponent. They're always competing for conference championships. And uh, and so you know, going on the road to you know to Texas that first week is is, is going to be big. Uh, you know, going to Michigan and Purdue. You know, it's an, another you know round of games that are going to test us. And then we've uh, you know got some good home games and uh, you know some games in there too where I think we should have a lot of the ball and uh, and be able to create a lot of chances. But as you know, with soccer, it uh, it uh, doesn't doesn't mean. Uh, you know, didn't you know? Didn't guarantee a result, so we're we're certainly got our, our work cut out for us. But I, I like uh, like the way the schedule looks. Can't wait! Can't wait for these stands to be filled. A lot of fans cheering on the Crimson Tide. Uh, Coach Hart, just thank you for all the time you've given us today on the Crimson Tide Sports Network. We'll be checking in with you throughout the season. Roll Tide! Thank yeah, you. Roll Tide.